Let's work on the playing the marriage trump card problem. A kingdom of men ruled by a single king and an equal-sized king queendom of women ruled by a single queen decide to rank each other and get married. The king and queen each insist on getting their own top choice or they'll veto the whole arrangement. Frightened by their king and queen, every woman but the queen ranks the king first. So all of the women on the, in the queendom uh, put the king first in their ranking list, and every man but the king ranks the queen first. The king and queen give their true rankings, so they may or may not rank each other first. They submit their rankings and get a matching from the Gale Shapley algorithm with the roles of women and men swapped. Women propose, and men accept or reject proposals. Okay, so it'll be Gale Shapley, but we'll say, while well, there is an unmatched woman remaining, uh, she proposes to the top man on remaining on her list. Uh, and then he'll either accept because he's unengaged, or if he is engaged but he ranks the woman proposing better, he'll break his old engagement and he'll become engaged with this woman. Okay. Does there exist an instance where the king vetoes the result because he does not get paired with his top choice? So the veto doesn't really matter here. We can just think about um, this is an instance of stable marriage with these interesting constraints. I'm just going to underline these constraints here. Every woman but the queen ranks the king first, and every man but the king ranks the queen first. Those are the crucial constraints. So is there an instance under these constraints where the king vetoes the result because he does not get paired with his top choice, which really means is there one where the king doesn't get paired with his top choice? Uh, so let's think about why we would think that the king would get paired with his top choice. Uh, so here's the king. Um, here's the queen. Clearly, if there's only one uh, person in each kingdom, the king and the queen, they have to get paired together. They have no choice but to rank each other first. So we're going to need another person for this even to be possible. So here's M1 and here's W1. And we want, well, here's what we want. We want the king to have a top choice and we want the king not to be paired with that top choice. So the question is, is his top choice the queen? Or is this top choice woman one? Uh, well, before we answer that, let's fill in as much as we can here. Every woman but the queen ranks the king first. So we actually, we actually know this person's complete preference list because there is only one person besides the king. And similarly, we know this man's complete preference list. That's a lot of information in this small an instance. Uh, so, um, well, you know, there's only two possibilities for the king. What if the king says W1, Q? Um, W1 ranks the king first. The king ranks W1 first. In any stable matching, these two are going to get paired together. Uh, because if they're not paired together, no matter how many people there are, since they, they make each other their top choice, if they're not paired together, they'll be paired with other people. And they will each most prefer each other, and so they'd rather break their existing marriages and marry each other. So not putting them together would create an instability, which means these two will definitely get married. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually matter what algorithm we're using to solve the problem. If it gives us a stable solution, these two will be married, uh, and then the, the king will get his first choice. So that's not going to work. Let's try this one. And by the way, if this fails, it doesn't mean that we've we've proven the answer is no, although maybe we've given ourselves a bit of insight and evidence in that direction. Uh, but it does, uh, if it succeeds, mean that the answer is yes, because the yes side just needs a single instance and the no side needs a general proof. Um, so both of these people want the queen. Uh, and we've seen that sort of situation before. If all of the men uh, rank the queen first, then whoever the queen ranks first, uh, she will marry. So if she ranks the king first, the king will again get his top choice. So we won't do that. We'll rank M1 first. And now, the only stable solution to this problem has M1 paired up with the queen, and the king unhappily paired up with W1, and this right here will cause a veto from the king. Okay, so yes. All right, let's try the next one. Does there exist an instance where the queen vetoes the result because she does not get paired with her top choice? Circle one. 
Yes or no. If yes, give one such small instance and indicate who the queen is paired with. If no, briefly sketch the key points of a proof. Why not? Um, well, the, the asymmetry here between the men's side and the women's side would be because we're using Gail Shapley with women proposing. So women will get their optimal result among all possible stable matches. Men will get their pessimal result. Uh, but I don't actually think that matters here. I mean, remember the, the reasoning we did up above, it applied regardless of what algorithm we were using. So we, we ought to be able to just create a symmetrical instance of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to I'm going to do the same instance as above, but I'm going to make it totally symmetrical. So the king went queen, woman, one. The queen will go king, man, one. Man one went queen, woman one. Woman one will go king, man one. So these actually, these down here, actually match with these up here, just translated to women's preferences instead of men. And then I'll do the same thing here. Uh, the queen went man one, king. So the king will go woman one, queen. And woman one went king, man one. So man one will go queen, woman one. Now, um, these two both most prefer the king, so the king gets whoever he wants, which in this case is woman one, which means the queen has to go with the leftover matching here. And does the queen get who she wants? No, nope, she wanted the king, and so she will veto. So sure enough, this is also possible, and the whole Gail Shapley algorithm with women proposing was a red herring.